Imagine stepping into a battlefield without a weapon. Imagine walking into chaos, trusting your instincts, hoping your gut will lead you to victory. Now imagine what happens next. You're struck down, crushed, because hope doesn't win wars, and neither does instincts. You see, life itself is a battlefield, and if you think you can navigate this world without a weapon, without the ability to cut through the chaos, you are gravely mistaken. Logic is your weapon here. It's not something optional, and it's not something reserved for the intellectual elites. It is a tool for survival, a tool for seeing clearly in a world that tries to blind you with contradictions, deceits, and confusion. Logic is how you align yourself with reality. And if you don't align yourself with reality, reality will crush you. You've heard the phrase, the truth will set you free. But what no one tells you is that the truth isn't something you just stumble upon. It is not something you simply feel in your guts. Truth is something you have to fight for. Logic is the method, the weapon you use to dissect reality, to separate what's real from the illusion that society and people and your own mind create. Think about this. You cannot navigate a world governed by reality if your mind is governed by lies. How many times have you fallen into the trap of believing two things that contradict each other? How many times have you been told that a person is good only to watch them betray you? Or been told that something will work only to see it collapse? Why? Because you were not equipped to see through the contradiction. You did not have the tools to filter out the lies, the noise, the falsehoods. That's where logic comes in. Logic gives you the tools to see the world for what it really is. Not for what you hope it will be. Not for what people try to tell you it is. But for what it truly is. Let's start by the law of non-contradiction. The first law of logic you need to understand is this. A thing cannot be true and false at the same time. The world is filled with people who try to convince you otherwise. They will feed you contradictions, expecting you to swallow them. They will tell you that something can be both trustworthy and unreliable, both good and evil, both success and failure, and because you want to believe them, you let these contradictions in and you tolerate them. But reality don't tolerate contradictions. Reality doesn't care about your hopes, your feelings, or your desires. Let me give an example. Look at your life and think of a time when you accepted something contradictory. Maybe you trusted someone who constantly lied to you or believed in a situation that had already proven itself to be false. Where did that get to you? It failed. You were left confused, disappointed, and probably betrayed. That's because contradictions will always collapse. This law, the law of non-contradiction, is about teaching your mind to recognize that collapse before it happens. It's about seeing through the lie before it drags you down. Take a moment and look at a belief, an idea, or a situation in your life. Ask yourself, is there a contradiction here? Am I trying to believe two opposing things at once? If so, cut it out. Reject the contradiction because it's because if you don't, it will consume you. The next principle is as clear as cold as steel. A thing is what it is. You can turn a tree into a car. You can turn a lie into the truth. And yet, how often do we live as if we can change the nature of reality through sheer willpower? How often do you try to convince yourself that someone who is clearly harmful can be good for you? That a job that is clearly draining you is somehow your purpose? Reality doesn't bend to your wishes. A tree is a tree and a lie is a lie and truth is truth. The law of identity is about learning to see things for what they are, without illusion, without distortion. When you encounter something in, in life, you must recognize its nature immediately. If someone shows you they are untrustworthy, believe them. If a situation shows itself to be toxic, see it for what it is. Don't waste time trying to reshape reality into something it's not. Think about a person in your life, someone whose actions consistently contradict what you want them to be. Maybe you've convinced yourself that they can't change, but deep down, you know their true identity. Who are they really? See them for what they are, not for what you hope they will become. Identify one person or situation in your life where you are denying the truth of its identity. Name it for what it is. Once you accept reality, you will stop wasting time try trying to turn it into something else. You will free yourself from the endless loop of hoping for change that will never come. Finally, the third law. A statement is either true or false. There is no middle ground. The world loves to live in a gray area, doesn't it? It loves to tell you the that the truth is relative, that you can't have half truth, that things can be sort of true. That's a lie. And to me, it's an extremely dangerous one. Truth does not compromise. And this is the law of excluded middle. 
There is no maybe in reality. It is either raining or it's not. The light is either on or it's off. And when it comes to making decisions in your life, you need to reject the half-truths, that half-truths that people try to sell you. You need to learn to see the line clearly between truth and falsehood. Think about a decision you've been hesitating on because things feel unclear. Ask yourself, what is undeniably true about this situation? Cut away the gray areas, there is no middle ground and you must decide. Take a decision you've been delaying. Apply the law of excluded middle. What is the undeniable truth here? Either commit to the truth or discard the falsehood. You can't remain in the gray. Once you've trained your mind in these principles, once you've internalized these laws, you are no longer defenseless. You will see the world as it truly is. And when the world tries to feed you contradictions, when it tries to blur the lines between truth and lies, you will not be deceived. Logic is not a theory. It is not an intellectual exercise. It is the sword you carry into every battlefield. Without logic, you will fall, just as surely as a warrior falls without his weapon. But with logic, you become a force that cuts through falsehood, that sees clearly, and that makes decisions based on reality. This is not about what you want reality to be. This is about mastering reality as is. In the end, the choice is simple. Align yourself with reality or be destroyed by it. Logic is your sword, your shield, your method to survive the chaos of life. Without it, you're lost. But with it, you can navigate even the most complex, deceptive situations with clarity, certainty, and strength. Arm yourself with logic and you will never be at the mercy of the lies this world throws at you. This is how you survive. This is how you win. Now it's your turn. Take these principles and use them. Begin with the contradictions in your life, the falsehood you've accepted, and the decisions you've delayed. Cut through them. This is your sword now. It's time to wield it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Maybe.